Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the. T t <laughs> I don't know if I could do this for real. <clears throat> oh, cutting off the top of my head on purpose because I have like bonnet lines and the daylight savings or all of that. Basically, it's really hard to get that sunrise moment when you wake up at six because it's still dark, hence the lights. But yeah you just gotta push through so that when summertime comes you'll be able to wake up in the morning because you're used to this you've been doing it you know what i mean so here's the look at the itinerary we're gonna do our skincare we're gonna have breakfast we're gonna do a little bit of a get ready with me and then i'm gonna go to the library to edit the first half of this morning i'm gonna go to the gym it's gonna probably be a pull day <gasps> i'm doing upper body on camera oh my god i actually got into one of the classes that i was waitlisted for for pilates so we're doing that instead of going to the gym then we're gonna come back home i have a bit of laundry to do some light cleaning and then supper and we're gonna take a bath do some skincare face mask today's gonna be a very good day for you and for me this whole video is gonna be super calming i also put more information on who i am where i'm from in the bio down below so if you ever have any questions about the camera i use the edit software i use the intro song link um my ethnicity and my age it's in the bio now and it's gonna be in every bio of every future video See, the morning fog is gone. I finally feel like I can talk again in front of the camera. So we're gonna get into this morning route. I don't even wanna do the whole making my bed on camera. Y'all know I'm gonna make my bed. I promise I'm gonna make my bed. So something that I've been doing for about one year now is making sure my mornings are as slow paced and low stimulating as possible. I don't know if that's the term, but the least stimulating possible, sorry. Uh, so I answer some emails. I usually fill out my planner if it's the beginning of the week. I would say the first 15 minutes are really crucial so that you just have a reduced stress level and improved focus for the rest of the day. I think the hardest part that I used to have with self-care is all the little steps. The CeraVe is the only one I use. Also, I've been doing YouTube shorts. Let me know what you think if you want. I'm having fun. I love the way it foams up. Skincare is real self-care. This is like, this is your card. And it's your mug. Like, you just want to take care of it as much as you can. If there's anything I'm going to skip, it's not going to be skincare. I try, I try. There's days where I really don't do my morning skin. I'm over, I'm over, I'm late. Um, but it's so important. I leave this on while I brush my teeth. I don't know why. I just do. So that's what we're going to do. Face wash kind of like melted in, but I'm going to wash it off. Don't skip the tongue. There's nothing cute about me showing myself scraping my tongue. So I'm just going to... I'm so sorry. Two-step skincare for sensitive skin is the only thing you gotta do because the more product I use and try out and I'm just like, oh my gosh, no. Just stick to the basics. Also, maintenance-wise, I am overdue for lash extension refill and then I guess getting my brows done, but this is not a maintenance vlog, so don't come for me. I put all my makeup in a bag and all my skincare in a bag. This is really, really old. A new one's on the way, and you guys are going to see me do a YouTube short where I refill the new one, so stay tuned. Super convenient, and it stops me from overconsumption because if it doesn't fit in here, I don't need it. When my skin is extra dry and it's winter, we're going in with the Snail Mucin. Use my favorite moisturizer, and then the Glazing Milk by Robe. It does the trick touch-wise without doing too much ingredient wise do you get do you get do you, i'm a fan there's no greater feeling than spending your money and not regretting it i need to order maybe one more and i will go in with the kiehl's ultra facial cream swear by her every single day she's the only thing you need especially if you have dry skin i just want to talk about the lip stuff right now and I'm gonna rank them. In fourth place, we have the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. You're good, but you're not, like you're good, okay? 
she's thin and I'm a thick like lip balm feely type of person I collect all of them I really do love lip balm in third place a lot of you guys are not gonna like this summer Friday love the the thickness the consistency but she don't wear as long she's really pretty her body's tea she's aesthetic she's cute she's everything you need in a day but she's not the best no shade I do like that one though but here's the second place she's better only because of the thickness the smell the smear the coverage the tint on the other ones and then the winner going three for three Ula. It has a cling technology thing going on, I don't know, but it doesn't move, like it just stays and it plumps and let me know if I'm missing out on any because just let me know, don't be mean. Uh, just re-slick, redo the edges. Here are my hair care products. I really do try and keep everything in its own place so that I don't buy too much and I don't feel like I need more than I actually do need. This is the gel I use. This is the edge control that I use. Classics, the soft brush and then the hard brush. And then something to do your edges with. Loki, self care is being patient. Being patient and not cursing, not cursing your hair texture, and not wanting to have a looser hair texture because because yours doesn't want to cooperate. Self care is loving it the way it looks, the way it acts. I love doing my makeup and watching The Bachelor, so the fact that the show is on means that I could just stop talking and do a little time lapse or you know how I edit, you know how I do. We'll change into a nice outfit, a cute little outfit that I could wear to the library and that could double as a Pilates fit, killing two birds with one stone. Not having my feelings be I've seen so many clips about Maria. Maria's Canadian. That's why she's a bad B. Now it makes sense. She's Canadian. <gasps> she's so pretty. Wow, she's hot. She's so pretty. <gasps> she's so <gasps> she's pretty. Wow. Pretty. She's really pretty. I'm gonna need to learn some more I from you, I honestly. Know, eh? <laughs> Love it. Okay. Hi. Hi, what's your <laughs> something so that no matter what you will fall in love with me <laughs> that's all no ma'am really nothing much I just wanted to add a bit of color to my face because I was just giving like you know so today's gym outfit slash Pilates outfit is gonna be matching set from crop shop boutique I really like crop shop boutique I'm waiting for them to drop the on point collection part two because the first time i was lacking and i missed the whole entire thing but yeah i thought this outfit was kind of cute a little khaki moment put a knit sweater on top of it and that's pretty much the ootd i feel like me titling this a self-care vlog makes me feel like i have to do like above and beyond because self-care could be like so many different things like I could have went to the spa, I could have went to get my nails done, that could be self-care. I could have went to a therapist, that could be self-care. I could have said, get ready with me to go get my 
blood work. I don't know, that could be self-care. I'm a student in my 20s, just regular schmegler. So you're gonna get a regular schmegler self-care day. Okay. Having the least of um, D and D. Anyways, it's just not being as stimulated as possible. So come with me to go to the library. I'm gonna eat outside for lunch, and then obviously we have Pilates as the form of exercise, which really ties in well. If I was to go to a full gym, it could seem a lot more energetic and hype and upbeat. And this is a core class, so it's gonna take a lot of breath work. It's gonna be slower movements. I don't think I'll be able to film too much, but I'll make sure to insert a, a couple of things here and there just so that you can see what I've been doing. So from 10 to 6, I spent all my time in the library. I like that it's really close to my house and I was able to edit, do my homework, I did some devotionals, I also did some journaling. I pretty much kind of brain fried myself without trying because by the time I had to leave for Pilates, I felt exhausted, but I had to get it done anyways. My class was at 7 p.m. Usually I do morning classes, but they're always fully booked. But yeah, I didn't film too much in the library because I really had to get my stuff done. I ate while I was there as well. And so the next segment is just me doing Pilates. So right after the class, I was supposed to go home and do my wind down, but impulsively, I got invited by a friend to check out a new artist who was doing a free set at Place des Arts, which is right next to my classes. So him and I went to go check it out. So. I am so embarrassed because that took all of my energy. I didn't even film the rest of the video. And then on top of that, I went out again and then came back really, really, really late. So I didn't film like an outro. I didn't film nothing, um, but I did and I will post a YouTube short, which is kind of like me getting unready. Um, it was filmed today because I did go out after. So yeah. You, you could see that if you want. I'm so sorry, y'all. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and then I'll see you in the next one. Bro, what is going on? I keep saying like, 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 like. Like, bro, like, I... <clears throat> um... What the hell is it? Oh.
was to clean my camera. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. This looked weird, but it's, um, it's a dust blower thing. I just found that so unesthetic that it's over here. Sorry. Let's do that again. Let's put this right back. <laughs>